against all the haters. Light of G4, pilots on our first name basis. We'll let your city feed off the ground. Nino, slams as the climb on clap. Widows, sweating in the morning, come and find me. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael Miner, and yes, today I want to welcome you guys to a special Michael Miner's WWE NXT TakeOver on Unstoppable Pre-Show. Yes, I know you guys will be going to watch the pre-show on the WWE Network here in a few minutes uh, at 6.30 p.m. or wherever time zone you guys are in. But ladies and gentlemen, I have here with me some very, very special guests. Um, first off, we're going to start with a really great guest. Uh, he does a lot of great cover art. Uh, uh, two great uh, cover art people. You guys go check them out. First off, Paul Dester, say hello to the fans. How's it going, guys? Happy to be on the show. Thank you for you having me. Uh, NXT, man. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, you can also check and our next guest. You can also check him out on Rust Ring Productions. Ladies and gentlemen, he, he has two channels, Wrestling with Brickwall and also Gaming with Brickwall. Mr. King Brickwall, say hello to the fans. Hi, how are you guys doing? Yeah, just you know, um, I, do, I do cover art and stuff with you and done for your channels, whatever. Hit me up on Brickwall Designs. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we also have here with us tonight a very, very special guest with me. He's my friend, and he is the owner of the Destroying Kayfabe. Ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, the legend, C.M. Style. Say hello to thy fans. And um, is C.M. Styles uh, get his uh, thing off of uh, on mute. There uh, we go. We got Mike Watch already. Production's getting hired now. Oh, shit. Uh, can't wait to talk to you all three. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and talk about the WWE NXT TakeOver um, Unstoppable that will be on tonight live on the WWE Network. I think this one's going to be more better than Payback from last Sunday night. So we are going to go ahead and get into the matches. Um, our first match. Is for the W for the NXT World Heavyweight Championship as my boy Mr. Kevin Owens that made his debut on Monday Night Raw to uh pretty much will be also getting a match at uh, Dream Rules against the United States Champion John Cena for the U.S. title. Uh, Kevin Owens will be defending his NXT Championship against a not a 100% uh, superstar of Sami Zayn. I don't know if he's going to be a hundred percent tonight uh, due to a, a shoulder injury that he sustained uh, during his match last week against John Cena in the United States Open Challenge. Uh, but I have to say, for my pick for, to win this match, and I, I want to see him retain the belt, is going to be Kevin Owens. But if Sami Zayn wins, it'd be awesome to see him win the belt. Uh, but we also been hearing a lot of rumors that maybe. Maybe possibly tonight or in the next few weeks, we will be seeing the debut of a former TNA World Heavyweight Champion, former TNA X Division Champion, Samoa Joe, as he is being prepared to get into NXT. I cannot wait to see him come to NXT to take on the NXT Champion, no matter what. So, um, Paul, who do you predict to win the NXT? Championship match between Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. I, uh, you know, the anticipation of Bill Flip is there. In my opinion, you know, a great example of booking 101. You got your white like, baby face and Sami Zayn. You got your calculating middle of the and uh, Kevin Owens. And Bill Flip is a phenomenal, uh, great story. And when it's first, that's always how much better uh, in the ring right now. So uh, I'm looking forward to as much as the next guy. Uh, there are a few of them in the circle where again, just us. So uh, overall, though, I'm Kevin Owens going for and retaining. Um, I think it's time for Sami Zayn to come up and make his transition to the main roster, and it's going to be a hell of a match. Most likely, to be a All right, Mr. King Brickwall, who predict to win the NXT Championship between Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn? Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see Kevin Owens going over because they're trying to build some 
because Monster he be a legacy champion. Um, like Paul said, Sammy's ready to come to the main monster. That's probably why they're pulling this angle where he's not 100%. So, yeah, see what's going over. All right, Mr. CM Styles, who do you predict to win the NXT Championship match between Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Kevin Owens as well. Uh, um, like I said, I didn't have a coffin right on the head. Actually, but, uh, putting Sami Zayn up on the main roster. Um, thank God that the injury that he received uh, was a couple weeks ago on Raw wasn't serious enough to keep him off the cart. So, I just can't wait to see uh, Owens go ahead and tear this uh, show up along with Sami Zayn. All right, and uh, real quick before we get into our next match, uh, what are your guys' thoughts with uh, Samoa Joe coming into NXT with a lot of rumors going around? Uh, Paul, what are your thoughts? You know, such an accomplished wrestler on the independent scene and mainstream wrestling today, um, I think he'd be a huge asset to the development down there in NXT. And, uh, uh, we know Ryan working down there with we'll C.P.C. Department, that's a different difference, we'll get to that later, but uh, yeah. Like I said, it's like games like Brian Tanger, all the older experienced guests that are coming in and working with the new guys, especially like Tommy and Valor, who have international styles, you know, and people all overseas, you know. It really helps them with the and accommodate the WP style much faster and uh, the turn is that much better for workers. So um, I'm all for it. Uh, it's going to be a great addition to the roster. I'd like to see him there. He deserves it. All right, Mr. King Burkwall, what are your thoughts as Samoa Joe coming to NXT? Uh, yeah, I can't wait. He, he was my favorite uh, DNA wrestler. Um, him coming from the NXT is going to be a great, great addition to the roster. Um, I think he's going to replace a, a Tommy in a triple threat match. And if they do that, then it's going to be a phenomenal match. All right, Sam Styles, what are your thoughts on the debut of Mr. Uh, Samoa Joe coming to NXT? Uh, uh, I'm Excited. I can't wait to see this happen. Um, the question is, well, what is he going to be billed as? Or you know, what's he going to be named? Will he come in as Samoa Joe? Or will we see someone go up there and call him Joey Samoa? Yeah. We don't know what's <laughs> going to happen. Um, and if anyone saw his current picture, he is probably in the best shape and not in DNA shape. Uh, I, I can't wait to see what this guy is going to look like. I definitely can't wait to see what he's going to do in the ring. Yeah, when um, Samoa Joe comes to NXT, I think it, when I saw pictures too, I'm like, wow, it doesn't even look like Samoa Joe. It looks like a more different, ready, uh, pumped and ready, ready Samoa Joe. Man, ever since seeing him in TNA, now coming in the NXT, yeah. a, little, a little bit pumped up. Man, I can't wait to see him when he's going to look like. Yeah, he wanted to take the camera on the road and lose a little weight before he comes, you know, which is good here. All right, right, our next match, our next title match, we have three title matches, uh, NXT TakeOver Unstoppable. We have the NXT Women's Championship, not the stupid Butterfly Diva title. The Women's Championship match, as Sasha Banks comes in to defend the belt against a pretty much a number one contender for the belt, Miss Becky Lynch. Now, I cannot wait. To see uh, Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks go at it. Uh, these two ladies uh, were somewhat best of friends, as you guys know. Uh, Sasha Banks was the one that brought uh, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch didn't bring, um, or Sasha didn't bring Becky. Becky brought her stuff to NXT. But you know, her being with uh, Sasha for a while, I think she's getting more better at her ring appearance. So for my prediction to win this, um, I'm going to go with an upset, and I'm going to see Becky Lynch win the NXT uh, Women's Championship at uh, NXT TakeOver Unstoppable. Uh, Paul, who do you think will win the NXT Women's title between Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch? I, I'm, I'm so excited for it. You know, women that have the capability to go out there and skip show and put on a form that's even better than men. That's something we were able to say for the longest time. We go back to Trish and Lita and all of them, Mickey Jane, Petra. But, um, I can't wait really to see it. I've been following Sasha since chaotic wrestling and all that stuff. I'm a huge mark for her. She's my favorite woman wrestler in the world right now. I'm just really looking forward to it. 
but like I said, I'm probably going to go out there and see go, but I suck at banks three games. All right, Mr. Brickwall, who do you predict to win the NXT Women's title between Sasha Banks and Miss Becky Lynch? Yeah, I, I, I see uh, Sasha Banks retaining the title because I don't think Becky ready. She, her character's open, but she's not ready to carry the title yet. That maybe once Sasha Banks leaves and goes to the main roster, she'll, she'll win it. But I see Banks winning to make retaining. All right, Mr. CM Styles, what do you predict to win the NXT Women's title between Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch? Uh, I'm going to go with Paul. I'm going to go with the boss herself, Sasha Banks. Uh, Becky Lynch has been up and coming. Uh, she's a breakout diva. Our women's wrestlers, we would rather call them. Um, but I don't think she is ready for the title just yet. Maybe another month or two before you actually put one around her waist. But until then, just keep it around Sasha. Yeah, that or, you know, keep, have Sasha uh, keep the belt for a while until after uh, when they bring Sasha Banks up into the uh, into the main roster. And then maybe possibly put the belt on Becky. But it will be a really good uh, D, uh, women's title match. Sorry for saying the Divas. Like I really care about the Divas. Uh, but um, now we go into our pretty much going to be some of a good NXT Tag Team Championship match between the champions Lake and Murphy. Take it on my boys, Enzo Amari and Colin Cass, or as I call him, Big Cass. Um, how you doing? Um, to me, this one here is going to be an awesome tag team match. As we know, we possibly might have two ladies at each corner. We'll have Camilla at one side with Enzo Amari and Cass, and possibly might have a lot of bliss uh, at the corner of Blake and Murphy because of this, you know, storyline going through uh, for the NXT title uh, match. But to me, if I were to predict this match, this one's going to be a really unpredictable kind of match. But if I were to pick, I'm going to go with my boys Enzo Amari and Big Cass. But if somehow, some way, there's an interference, I can see Lake and Murphy retaining tag belts. So, Paul, who do you predict to win the NXT Tag Team Championship between Blake and Murphy and Enzo Mari and Big Ass? Uh, that's a hard one. It's, it's just predictable as most of these are. Uh, you know, you got Boston Lake, West Lake, Enzo Mari, all comes to this. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, you got a left corner. One team, you got a call-up. So I'm interested to see what happens. I personally think we're going to see the title change hands. I think Lincoln Murphy has played him long enough. And uh, they did a good thing to draft the time pass him on. The way I think the title division is really upscale lately. So I'm looking forward to it either way. It'll be a good match. All right, Mr. King. Who do you predict to win the NXT Tag Team title match between Blake and Murphy against Enzo Amari and Big Cass? Hmm. That, that is the easy one. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Big Cass and and, and the, we're going to win tonight. All right, Mr. CM Styles, who do you predict to win the NXT title tag team title match between Blake and Murphy versus Enzo Amari and Big Cass? Yeah, I'm going to have to go with Enzo and Cass. It's going to get soft for one, so... It's going to be a really tough match at that, you know, at least the last several weeks they've been building a really good story. So I can't wait to see exactly what's going to happen. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this next one is going to be somewhat of a predictable match, but we don't know uh, due to uh, Hideo Itami's injury. We don't know if this is going to be an NXT Championship number one contender's triple threat match. Or if it's going to be a match between Finn Balor and Tyler Breeze. But if the match does happen, uh, we have Finn Balor taking on a Dio Tommy versus Tyler Breeze. To me, from my prediction, as we all know, we're going to see Finn Balor with his uh, his face paint and all that cool stuff that he does for his entrances. Because I love him doing stuff for the monthly show stuff uh, with his face paint. And sometimes during the NXT shows. I've been seeing a lot of videos of 
uh, Finn Balor coming out with some of his uh, his paint. Um, but we're going to see that tonight. Uh, take on Hideo Tommy and uh, Tyler Breeze. But for my pick to win this, and I think should win it for the number one contender is Tyler Breeze. To me, I think he is ready to go for the NXT uh, number one contendership. As you know, Finn Balor tried that and lost against uh, Ken Owens. Uh, but, you know, Hideo Tommy could be another one, too. But we don't know due to his injury uh, that he's staying, I think, during to a, 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 to be an NXT show or during NXT. So, uh, Paul, who do you predict to win the number one contender's triple threat or if it goes to uh, between Finn Balor and Tyler Breeze? Um, yeah, there's a lot of controversy around it because nobody knows what's really going on. you got Tommy that's arguably anyway. Six to eight months, possibly need three. So it does just go to one on that. Uh, I would say Balor winning. Uh, we did see Kevin Owens defeat Finn Balor, but Finn Balor is undefeated but when he comes out as the demon. And um, I just can't realistically see Finn Balor winning as the demon, whether it's a book threat, whether it's one on one, whether it's a or who I'm making views. I don't see the demon losing. Finn Balor, fuck the world. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. B uh, King Brickwall, would you predict to win the triple threat match or? Or it goes to a one on one match. Um, yeah, this is, this is kind of hard because I don't know if Tommy is going to be wrestling or he's out, but whoever faces Owens is going to get crushed anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. So Owens is just going to kill anybody who comes in his path, so I'm going to have to go with Ben Balor if I win this. All right, Mr. CM Styles, who do you predict to win? The NXT title number one contendership match. Yeah, the way it's coming down hard on me, I'm definitely not going to say Tyler Breeze. I'm definitely not going to say they have his injury. Uh, I'm going to give Finn Balor as well, especially if he comes as a demon. Uh, you know, this guy has been impressive since his uh, NXT debut. And of course, we also got a guy possibly showing up on main roster. So I can't wait to see, this win. You know, see that happen sooner or later. But when it comes to who are facing Steen, it's not going to matter as Brick says Steen or Kevin Owens or whatever you want to call him. Uh, I like going by the RH Indy name. It's much better. <laughs> yeah. That's right. me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next match. Uh, I think it's about damn time for Baron Corbin uh, to do this instead of, you know, facing off against some local wrestlers and all that. But this one is going to be possibly my match tonight. It is going to be Baron Corbin taking on Man Beast Rhino. Now, these two are going to be tearing up the house like no matter what. Uh, Baron Corbin coming in to take on Rhino. Um, as I predicted during one of my NXT shows, because to me, I feel like he needs to be brought up into more of the NXT title. Him working with a Rhino is going to be incredible. Um, but if I were to predict to win this match, I'm gonna go with my boy six foot eight himself, Mr. Baron Corbin, to beat Rhino uh, in this match. But if it goes a different way, I can see Rhino winning. But this one's gonna be going. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with my boy Baron Corbin for the win. Uh, so, Paul, who do you predict to win this match between Baron Corbin and the Man Beast Rhino? Uh, it's definitely it's definitely a competition when it comes to the Baron Corbin. You know, the majority of this network matches have the squash matches. This is the first time he's going to go up there and have to win a full match. And I really think Rhino's a guy that will help him elevate his game. I'm, I'm a fan of both guys. I'm looking forward to it. Rhino will do the job. I see Baron Corbin going over. And, uh, it should definitely elevate his game in the future, given that push. And maybe the main event future that he's so desperate to need. All right. Mr. King uh, Brickwall, who do you predict to win this match between? Baron Corbin and the Man Beast Rhino. Right, um, but, but what we've seen at NXT House Show and that he faced the Tommy Dreamer, so this will be the second ECW original he would face. So um, I see Baron Corbin going over. I see Rhino as a guy just putting over a talent, you know, the future. So that's Baron Corbin. All right, Mr. CM Styles, who do you predict to win the match between Baron Corbin and the Man Beast Rhino? Yeah, time for Rhino to pass the 
Looking forward to a new up and comer in WWE or NXT. Uh, we're going to get some Baron Court as well. Uh, uh, like you said there, Brick, Tommy Dreamer phase over the weekend at House Show Early. And of course, we saw the Ottawa. Uh, it was a pretty good match from what they said as well. But uh, this match right here is going to put a strain on Baron because he has never faced anyone like the man he's surrounding with himself. Um, you know, I was kind of hoping that squash match last week on NXT again, on it wasn't as bad as I thought it was, going, but it kind of felt bad for Sammy Callahan. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully Rhino, you know, gives him the beat he deserves, but in the end, it's going to be Baron picks up the victory. All right, and when we get into our last match of the night that has just been uh, added to the card, as Bailey and Charlotte Flair will be taking on Emma and a newcomer to NXT, which to me I had somewhat hate towards um, Donna Brooke. Uh, she's a bodybuilder, um, as you guys know, but to me, I'm starting to get more into her. Um, if I were to predict to win this uh, women's uh, tagging match, I'm going to be a babyface for versus heel. Uh, but if I were to predict win this match, I'm going to go more with Emma and Donna Brooks to win over Bailey and Charlotte because I think to me, Emma getting rid of that bubble crap and that little stupid dance that she does, thank God. Now they're trying to do something real good with Emma, finally. Um, getting rid of that bubble crap and all the dancing and all that stuff that she does. Now she's getting serious with this. So I'm going to go with Emma and Donna Brooks to win this match. So, um, Paul, who do you predict to win this women's tech team match between Bailey and Charlotte versus Emma and Miss Donna Brooke? Uh, despite the Brooke's lack of uh, a wrestling background, just starting in NXT and being there and then being back there, uh, she did pretty great so I could to improve on it. So it's still new in a sense. But um, I think she's making pretty good stride. She's had a good point in her game for a beginner. I'm interested to see how to here and look forward to her in the future. Uh, overall, you know, I think something weird is going to happen where you see a Bailey or a Shaquille appearing. Uh, that's just me taking a guess and throwing something out here. But uh, I think I'm broken. I'm a broken Emma for the win. All right, Mr. Rick Wall, who do you pick to win the women's uh, tag team match between Bailey and Charlotte versus Emma and Miss Donna Brooke? I see uh, Charlotte and Bailey going over. Uh, I'm just not too big on Dana Brooke right now. So still, still trying to give her a chance, but it's really hard. So. All right, Mr. CM Styles, who do you predict to win between Bailey and Charlotte versus Emma and, and Donna Brooke? Three hugs for everyone to start out with, and then after that, it will be Charlotte and Bailey will pick up the victory. Hopefully, just hopefully. Um, I like a girl like Bailey job out like that, especially Dan Banks and uh, what's her face Emma. Uh, it's going to be a brutal match, though. You know, all four of was, you know, pretty much entering veterans to NXT. Four, four incredible, fantastic athletes. So I just can't wait to see what happens in this match. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for WWE NXT uh, TakeOver Unstoppable. I hope you guys enjoy NXT Unstoppable. Uh, real quick, before we head out, we're going to go ahead and get our um, our, our plugs. Uh, you guys can uh, come check me out on YouTube at youtube.com slash Michael Miner. Uh, also, my gaming channel, uh, youtube.com slash Michael gaming 26 which i will have an update video and we'll be doing a throwback thursday video game uh week with that so i hope you guys come check that out uh also go check out uh youtube.com slash destroying kayfabe and all the other good youtubers so we're gonna go ahead and send it over to paul to give out his um plugs before we head up tonight yeah guys if you can follow me on twitter at the underscore Arabian or check out my wrestling page on Facebook and Kate's All right, Mr. Uh, K 
King Brickwall, where are your uh, plugs before we help? Uh, you guys can find me on Twitter at King Brickwall, and you can, you can like my uh, design page at Brickwall Design. Just like the page, and I'll do some designs for you. All right, Mr. CM Styles, go ahead and give out your plugins before we head out. All right, you can follow me on Twitter, Heel Styles. Like I said, you can follow us on uh, YouTube, Google at Destroying k Fape. And you no, know, I don't do concept art, I suck at drawing. So don't expect me to draw anything to stick to your uh, <laughs> Other than that, that's the only way you can follow me. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Come on over back after the NXT TakeOver Unstoppable and the post show if they're going to have it. If not, I will be back. So we'll see you guys next time and we'll see you guys after the TakeOver Unstoppable. I'm Michael Meyer. That's Paul. That's King Brickwall and Mr. CM Stubbs himself. I'm Michael Meyer. See ya and peace out.